when a fossil fuel setup is decommissioned, you are stuck with huge rigs, pipelines, and land that looks like uh, something from Mad Max or possibly the parts of Lord of the Rings that happened in Mordor, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, and, yeah, and I, so, I've seen satellite and so, images of Alberta. For Americans, we think of Saskatchewan and Alberta, if we think of them at all, as essentially beautiful forests of pine trees with the occasional mountie. That's our image of it. And I think that a lot of people would be shocked if they actually drove through and saw what became of those pristine forests. Yeah, that's very accurate and unfortunately just completely true of me. So certainly those areas do have uh, a very, very large swaths of land, which is pristine, which is lovely, which is you know, where tourism is and et cetera. But yeah, when you, when you start to then go over the the tar sands and, and other areas that are being worked over now for decades. Um, yeah, it, Mad Max is an apt term. I don't know that you can actually describe it any other way. It's just an area that certainly humans don't want to be in, and you you, you know you just don't see animals there, and you've got tailing ponds, and you just have you have basically devastated land. Again, no disrupted water tables, leftover chemicals that are in incredibly difficult to clean up.